Hey bees, I'm Marie from Hubble Bee and Me, and today we're kicking off a new series, my soothing series, with this lovely soothing hyaluronic acid facial serum. As you can probably guess, the focus of this series is soothing. Uh, so the core elements of that, I, I've looked for ingredients that are known to soothe the skin, ingredients that are known to hydrate the skin, and ingredients that are known to help improve the barrier function, to help strengthen the skin's ability to protect itself and to regenerate. With those aims, I've chosen a lot of really gorgeous ingredients. So as you can probably guess from the name, we've got some hyaluronic acid in here, a wonderful humectant and skin moisturizing ingredient. And I further complemented that with some sodium lactate and some propanadiol 1,3. So two more fantastic non-sticky humectants to really help your skin stay as, <laughs> stay as moisturized and hydrated as possible in these dry winter months. We've also got some panthenol, some urea, and some elantoin. If you want to learn more about these ingredients, I really, really recommend visiting the Humble Bee and Me Encyclopedia. I've made sure to detail all of the ingredients that we're using in this series in the encyclopedia. They all have their own entries, so you can really learn about why we're using them. Every entry also has information on substitution suggestions, so if you don't have any of these ingredients, I provided some suggestions uh, on how to create substitutions from things you might already have. A key part of this soothing series was not including anything that could potentially be irritating, so I haven't included any essential or fragrance oils. So the scent for this whole series comes from a blend of two hydrosols. Uh, cucumber and chamomile. So it creates a very soft, fresh scent blend that's really, really lovely. The cucumber distillate I'm using is from Essential Wholesale. It was a gift from them and it just smells, it smells exactly like a cucumber. It's very, very cool, very fresh, really, really lovely and uh, I really recommend it. Since this serum doesn't require any heat to make, it comes together really, really quickly. Maybe 10 days after I started testing this serum, a lady on the street asked me if I was eight years old. So that either means that my skincare routine is amazing and we can give some credit to this serum or that she doesn't spend a lot of time around eight year olds. But I'm going to take this one as a win for my skincare routine. Uh, just a reminder, if you wanna learn more about this recipe, see everything written out, you wanna learn about substitution, scaling, why certain ingredients are included, all that kind of stuff, please check out the blog post. It's linked in the description box below. You'll find it on humblebeeandme.com. But come on, let's get started. All right, so let's begin weighing out the ingredients for our soothing hyaluronic acid facial serum. So we're going to start with our water. We need 9.6 grams. We need 12 grams of aloe vera juice, 12 grams of a 1% hyaluronic acid solution, and this is a low molecular weight solution, 12 grams of chamomile hydrosol, and six grams of cucumber hydrosol. Now that we've got all of our watery bits in there, we can start adding our actives and our humectants. So first we're going to need 1.2 grams of panthenol, 2.4 grams of urea, 0.3 grams of elantoin, 1.2 grams calendula extract, 1.8 grams sodium lactate, 1.2 grams propanadiol 1,3, and 0.3 grams liquid germal plus. Now we can bottle it now, but I want to leave it for a wee while to show you that it will become clear. I'm going to put it in a frosted type bottle, so it won't be apparent if we bottle it now and I show you later. So I'll be back in about 20 to 30 minutes and we'll see that this has cleared up nicely as all the bits in it have dissolved. And there we are, you can see everything has dissolved nicely and some little bubbles from that uh, hyaluronic acid gel. So we're just going to pop this in our container. This is a two ounce uh, bottle and I've got a treatment pump cap for it. I find that this has just enough viscosity that you can't use a standard mister. If you do, you just kind of get a jet of product rather than a pump of product. Uh, but in a product like this, with a little pump cap, you get a just a nice little, little dispensed amount that you can then smooth across your face and yeah, so there we are. <laughs> you just made a gorgeous, soothing hyaluronic acid facial serum. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please go down to the description box below this video and click through to find this recipe on my blog, where you'll find links to all the ingredients, information on substitutions, scaling, shelf life, 
why we've used different ingredients, and a whole lot more. So thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.